How do you follow up That's the November sweetest of all end. possible episodes? I don't know. Aerie's coming to live at UA. I <laughs> That's I how. Again. That's so perfect. Aerie was abandoned by her parents. We know the head of the Shie Hasaikai is her blood relative. Right. But he's been in a coma for quite a while. And I don't know if he's ever getting out. He said it gotten smaller, so it should be fine. Truth, it had. But it's slowly starting to get bigger again. There's no avoiding this. She has to deal with it at some point. That's why we're going to let her live here instead of putting her into the system. Man, the heart, the heart behind it. This is exactly what you wanted a life. It's a long road. Sounds like yeah, they're taking on a lot of responsibility. Of That's yeah, where I yeah. come in. I know you guys are majorly busy, but I'm hoping you'll stop by and say hi. They will spend all their time. <laughs> you know they will. I bet we'll have our invincible man back in no time. Man, that'd be awesome, right? Guess we'll see, though. That is a perk. But you know what? Like, it's clear that that's not his motivation. Or it's not his primary motivation. He's a human being, right? And who wouldn't want their ability back? Especially someone like Mirio, who's put so much into this and is clearly so talented and such a gift to the world. But I really get the feeling he's just doing it because he likes he likes Aerie, you know? He's just a good, good guy. Go back to the dorms. You have visitors. They'll be here soon. More visitors. New characters? Who could it be? Sure! <laughs> Bless you. Uh-oh. I hope you're not sick. I'm quite well. My mucous membranes are merely doing their job. Uh, what? Or someone's talking about you. Maybe you've got fans. Of course he's got fans. He's Tokoyami. Tokoyami's probably had fans for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> Some meta, meta character dialogue right here. Likely not. Everything moved too fast there. Oh, don't underestimate yourself, Tokoyami. <laughs> what was that admiring look for me to... <laughs> Your feline fantasies are Oh, here. look at it. Oh, it's helping pop. It's been a while. Damn, it feels like a lifetime ago. I couldn't protect you back then. <laughs> right into it. Right into it. Wasting no time. We're all doing pretty good, right? Homehead buns! They brought us homehead buns! They just had like the best arc of their lives. They're doing fine. <gasps> I had the same reaction as that guy. I'm so happy to see you! Thank you for your heartfelt letter! I'll treasure it forever! He didn't write back? Something unheroic about that. <laughs> We've received a report from Tartarus Prison recently. I feel simply terrible about taking her ability. I'd love to return it to the girl, but you'd have to let me use my power. Something about this guy makes me feel like I can't trust him. He could be hiding some dangerous quirks. Yeah. Yeah. Which unfortunately means the smartest way to contain him is to not let him use any abilities. Yeah, I mean, he has an angle, obviously. It's our spot on the Japanese hero billboard chart. You see, we're ranked 411 this year. Rankings are based on the total number of incidents resolved, contribution to society, and Is this what's meant by citizens. like number one, number two? Is this like the official, the biggest list? Isn't it weird that we're still in the triple digits even though we haven't done any hero work? That makes sense. I feel like feelings are probably sticky in that regard. Like once you develop an affinity for someone or even a distaste for someone or any kind of strong emotion, it has a momentum. It just carries. So that just seems like they have a really loyal fan base. About the billboard chart, that was Hawk we just saw as number three, right? I'm just struck with how little we still know about this world despite a relatively slow chronological pace, if you know what I mean. I guess what I mean is this is not a show for for filler. Everything that they do, even the slice of life stuff, feels rich and important and has depth. Yet there's still so much potential to unlock cool things. Do I even know all the top 10 heroes at this point? I don't think I do. Or even if I do know them, I haven't really explored them in the ways I know the show can explore heroes. To hear that they're what, 411, 311? I can't remember. Just is, is sort of a staggering way to put it into perspective. There are people waiting for us to return. No way we can just stay on the sidelines! So you're doing That's it such a potent feeling too. It's such an amazing feeling, but also it's such a humbling feeling. Hero uh, chart, Japan. Billboard chart. Interesting. This is like the the fan element, the societal element of heroism. It's sort of a new era. Dropping down one rank from the last chart, Dragoon Hero Ryukyu. Honestly, I don't think I deserve to place this highly. Number Why did she drop? This just directly answered my question about the top 10 hero thing. This is awesome. But he won't be defeated. Equipped hero, Yorai Musha. Equipped with this mustache, am I right? Number eight. Washing machine. Shiny commercial. Yeah. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite laundry hero. Oh, that's a sentence I never knew I'd hear. In a huge leap up the charts. Yeah, wow. Look at, look at Kamui Woods. Look at Kamui Woods. Woods making a name for himself. I love it. We've been with him since and the, the beginning, sort dating? of. I have no comments. Oh, getting spicy. Rust. I wish I could have Rust. seen more this, of this, all might in action. Wow, this is a lot of heroes out there. It's a lot of heroes out there. What an intense group of people. Talk about weak. Compose yourself. We're in public. I love how this is like a, a Street Fighter ending screen, battle ending screen with their one-liners. Which brings us to number three. He's currently on hiatus, 
is hot. There he is, finally! All my prayers have been answered. Yes! Yes, please return. Thank you for the update, My Hero Academia. It's only been a season and a half. Right. Hawks number two now. Endeavor's number one. Still not used to a world without All Might. <laughs> but how does he feel about it? But how does he feel about it? Bittersweet, perhaps? Who knows? We chose to make the charts more of an event today because we feel this time is a critical juncture Because this is My Hero Academia and everything has to be a challenge. If it had been within my power, I would have refused this honor. There are those I should have been able to save, but did not. I'll strive to do better. I feel like you're gonna get a lot of this out of the top ten. <laughs> this is like the quintessential top ten thing. But I don't do this for the notoriety. I believe it is my duty to bring about peace. Come on, guys. Who wants to hear this kind of canned crap? Stain, maybe? Oh, he's a little edgy. If we're talking about popularity, Best genus is ranked at the top thanks to the boost he got from being on hiatus. Best genus deserves it. Also, let's not sleep on his clothing puns. His clothing puns are the thread that binds society together. Why does it seem like everyone's playing it safe with these rehashed PR lines up here? Maybe we should stop pretending and start saying what's on our minds, huh? This is interesting. This has a lot of potential. Age 22. At oh, he's 18, really young. He started his own agency, and wow. by the second half of that year, he was already in the top 10. This is impressive. People say that he's moving too fast. He risks flying too close to the sun. Arrogance. Well, that's all I've got to say. I guess it's no coincidence he has those wings, huh? Now let's hear from number one. Who has a lower approval rating? And Endeavor is literally like a fire, fiery sun. I'm betting a lot of people can get behind what he just laid down. Right? How do you follow that? What did he just lay down? I'm a little bit lost. Popularity should now be ranked more highly because of the absence of the symbol and that people are playing it too safe or too concerned with rehashed PR. I feel like actually a lot of them are probably being honest. I don't think it's phony. Although there might be a lack of innovation. You know, I feel like that's sort of a trade off that exists in life where we carve out these stable or reliable pathways for ourselves. And the deal is you can follow this path and you'll you'll probably be more or less fine. But you're going to miss sort of that like outlier explosive opportunity or growth. Because in order to experience those things, you're probably going to have to do things that other people aren't willing to do. And if people are not willing to do them, it probably means they bear a great deal of risk or are just insanely difficult. There are a lot of obstacles like just ability, information asymmetries, the ability to stomach failure for long periods of time in the hope of future success, fear of being misunderstood, not trusting life paths that you haven't seen people walk before you, and also just lots of logistical chance and life issues. But I think there's something exciting and maybe innately respectable about people who aim for those things as long as they're doing it in a way that seems just or moral. And so while this might not be the guy, it's it's intriguing to hear him even cast a spotlight on the status quo. I do want to hear what he says and also how Endeavor responds to this. What does it mean to be a symbol? And I'll give him the, the best of all answers. Since this child decided to fan the flames, I won't <laughs> say much. So instead, just watch what I do. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. He didn't play into uh, Hawk's game. Hawk is more of an orator, orator it seems. That is not um, Endeavor's talent, you know, speaking to people. Sorry if I threw you for a loop, man. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, boy? Everyone yeah. just kept spouting the same normal boring stuff, you know? Felt like somebody needed to make an impact. I mean, that is a good test of leadership in a way. Who can actually, like, say what they're thinking out loud. And I thought you nailed it. You sounded cool up there. Is, is you all right? Yeah. serious or mocking me? Yes. I want to team up with you. One case, that's all. There have been some troubling eyewitness accounts in my hometown. You remember those Nomu things, right? Yeah, he just destroyed them. But I don't think you'll disappoint. High end. High end. All right. I worked at this company for three years, and today I'll bring it down. Ever since I can remember, I've always put other people first. Right into the backstory <laughs> of this company person. Liberate me. This is it! But a human liberation! Um, what kind of liberation are we talking about here? Quirk, shame! The more embarrassed <laughs> he feels, the stronger he gets! Oh. Meta. Oh, it is what I thought. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. So much for that backstory. Let me help you out with that. His feathers just do everything for him. Could my son get an autograph? That yeah, looks like a nice backpack. Endeavor is fuming at the word autograph. You're so and also fuming at the sense that no one likes him. No one likes him. Perfect chance to grab an autograph, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. What ah. Do do? What? Hide your this pen. He's gonna smash in your hand. So cool. <laughs> no, I feel like he's trying to reform. 
Yeah. The server doesn't do fan service. Oh no. Oh, oh no. This is awful. I missed the old endeavor. How do you, how do you win? Way to set this guy for right. failure on every, every front. There's been plenty of neighborhood gossip about monsters, and that kind of talk gets filtered down to students and spreads quickly. What is it you know? It's very knowledgeable in the loop. What is it you want? For you to become a dependable leader, now that you're number one. I want you to figure out if there's any truth to these rumors. And if not, stand proud and tell everyone there's nothing to worry about. This is such an interesting but, but touchy moment. This is what Endeavor wants, but Hawk being able to see right through to that and lay down the challenge as if to suggest that Endeavor's not already doing that just hits all sorts of raw spots for Endeavor who is currently trying to process his, his emotions and actions to catch up to his position, which is like way, way far ahead of where he probably feels he is. The autograph rejection is really interesting to me because on the one hand, it's sort of painful. Like how is a guy supposed to improve or make gestures or try to meet people halfway if they're punished for it? But on the other hand, I think it sort of reaffirms what has been covered somewhat in the show where it's like you don't necessarily serve yourself by aiming for someone else's ideal. You try to figure out what your own ideal is and try to live up to that. There's no point doing things that aren't you in the hopes other people will like you. You know what I mean? Or in the hopes that it will have some desired effect that it is disconnected from your actual outlook. Basically, I see myself as your producer. Moron. I just want to take it easy and have some fun. I'd like to go on leisurely patrols, complain that nothing exciting happened. No, I feel like there's more to him. Tuck myself in there's more to him. Night. He has two facets. He has like the outward facet of like, I'm so carefree and fun, but then he's he's very serious at heart, it seems. He's done all this behind the scenes, right? Well, that's not good. Excuse me, here are your drinks. No, don't come any closer. Oh, oh, they just came right to them in the restaurant. So much for, for like investigative work. It just appears. This is turning out to be my lucky day. After all, I wanted to know more about these things, right? Shit burn! Didn't even feel that at all. I'll show you who's strongest here. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, this is Endeavor's arena, right? This is where he shines. But that also puts huge stakes on this because that is maybe the one thing that people know and like about Endeavor or his most confident thing that, yeah, he's not, you know, the nicest person. He will knock this pen right out of your hand and yell at you, but you can count on him to show up and, and save people. His powers are awesome. And that is what gives him this spot, right? But what happens if he can't beat this thing? One of the things about being at the top is that there's a really, really long way to fall. There's a lot of pressure on everything you do. And it's not like the League of Villains and these Nomu and this enhanced Nomu, I guess, are unformidable. I mean, they're a force in themselves. Very interesting episode. It was funny, I started off by saying, like there's still this whole like big world of heroes that we don't know yet do i even know the top 10 and then we got introduced to the top 10 and i'm here for it i think that one i'm interested to know more about hawk and two the fact that endeavor is going to go on a personal journey is something that's been set up for a long time so i'm curious to see where that that goes i have a feeling this fight is a major turning point for him and it's not just going to be him simply beating the the nomu there's something he needs to process through the fight is, is my guess, as vague as that sounds, it's just a gut feeling. Perhaps what's been holding it ever back this whole time is his personal confusion about who he is and what he wants to be and what it means to be about a hero. And maybe that's why All Might's question sort of hit so hard. What's driving him exactly? It feels like there's a lot of selfish selfishness in it. And you can imagine that being turned around. You can imagine it being better directed, you know, using his power in a way that is for a higher purpose, even if it means not not faking it. You know, you can be totally authentic and be rough around the edges and still be really adored, I think, as long as people sort of know what's at the heart. You know, people know what's at the core. And I think they doubt what's at Endeavor's core. And rightly so, because if his values were aligned, he wouldn't have been able to do a lot of the things he did, especially, you know, concerning his family. So you can imagine that there are turning moments, there are turning points. And maybe like Deku, he's a, the kind of person that discovers who he really is in the heat of the moment. I understand the sense of relief when the Nomu showed up because that is Endeavor's world, right? This, this navigating of the PR and the image and the autographs, it's just not what he's suited for and it's got to be exhausting. But the Nomu showing up is simple and I guess what'll come to light is how far he's willing to go exactly, what he's willing to do in light of this new and maybe ultimate challenge. So a yeah, very cool episode. I'll see you next time for what I, I can't believe is already the finale of season four.